Hey guys, it's Beth, so welcome back to my channel. I asked you guys on Instagram if you would rather see my Lily Pulitzer collection or a new Project Pan update, and the majority said my Lily Pulitzer collection, so I'm filming that today, and then I am filming my Project Pan video tomorrow, and it should be up on Thursday. Today is Sunday, if you're wondering. And I'm wearing my Poshmark campus rep sweatshirt from last semester because I got to be a campus rep, and that was okay but the reason why i decided to wear this sweatshirt in this video is because i buy a lot of my lily used because it's just too expensive to buy it full price for me since i'm a college student and all that and also lily sizing can be really inconsistent and that's an issue and when i still lived in texas the nearest store was in austin which is three hours away and now that i moved to oklahoma the nearest store is still three hours away I either can go south and go back to Texas and go to Dallas, or I can go up north and go to Kansas City. And I don't remember if it's on the Kansas side or if it's on the Missouri side of Kansas City, but it's up that way. But yeah, without further ado, this is my collection. The first thing I have in here is like my holy grail dress. Um, I got this off Poshmark, I think I paid $40 for it, and there's a little bit of a story behind this dress actually. So when it was my 18th birthday, I was still a senior in high school and everything, my mom and my mom's boyfriend at the time and I went to Austin to the Galleria Mall, which is where the Lily Pulitzer store is, and I tried on this dress. It's just their like standard shift dress, I don't know, I don't remember the name of the style, but it's just pink with blue shells and then it has this really really pretty lace detailing on the back and the zipper hook is also a seashell. This dress I tried on in the store then and I was gonna buy it. It was on sale still from the after party sale because they had leftover stock and so it was on sale for $70 I'm pretty sure but I decided to buy two pairs of Callahan shorts instead because I thought I would wear those more so I didn't wind up getting this and that was the biggest regret ever and so then I have it now finally three years later so that's awesome but yeah I haven't worn this yet because obviously it's too cold outside but I think I can just layer this with like a you know like a white button up and some riding boots or something and wear it now but I really love that dress so much. I only own two Lily Pulitzer dresses and this is my other one. I got this one during the after party sale last summer so it was like September 9th and my birthday is the 23rd so my mom got this for me for my birthday as an early present. This is the Kelsey dress. I don't remember what the like pattern name is for this one. The other one was Barefoot Princess Pink Pout. I'm pretty sure is the name of it. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. But yeah, I think, I don't remember what this one's called. It has something to do with like banana leaves because it's banana leaves, I think is what they're supposed to be on this dress, but it's absolutely stunning. I wore this at Christmas to church for Christmas Eve service and I absolutely loved it. And then next I have this skirt, I can't remember the name of the print, which is going to be a really common theme throughout this because I don't keep my tags like a lot of people do. I know this is the Marigold skirt, and this one technically is off of Poshmark, so what happened was I had this skirt in a size 8, I think, so I think this one's a 6, yeah. I had this skirt in a size 8 and I purchased it during the after party sale like 2 or 3 years ago, somewhere around there and i wound up losing about 35 pounds within three months or so because i was very very ill so my size 8 skirt did not fit anymore so i sold it on poshmark and bought this one a size down so this is a size 6. i absolutely love this skirt i think this was like my second lily pulitzer skirt ever and then my mom has this same pattern but in like a tank top or something it's really really pretty uh, these I just bought recently. These are the buttercup shorts and they're in a size 8. I'm not sure what pattern this is. I th This may be Osha level. Maybe. I don't remember. But yeah, I just really really like them. Um, these actually do not fit me, which is weird. This is what I was talking about with the sizing because these are a size 8 and I wear like a size 6 to a 10, I would say, and these are too small, which is confusing because this is a size 6 and it fits me perfectly fine but yeah my other 
pair of Lily shorts that I have are these and they are also buttercup shorts and these are the buttercup stretch shorts is what they're actually called don't remember what the print is i think it's something it's something to do with the bay that's all i really remember but i got these in the summer after party sale last year in september and i absolutely love these these are a lot thicker than the other buttercup shorts that i just showed and i've worn these like a lot lately these are my only lily shorts that aren't like completely totally pink i have this and one other item that's not completely mostly pink so yeah i wear these all the time i have like a harry potter t-shirt from jade lynn brooke that i like to style these with and it just looks perfect oh, those shorts were at a size six as well so i don't know what's really going on with the sizing but it's very confusing the next thing I have is this wrap around skirt and this is I know this is the Nessa skirt I don't remember like what color they exactly call this it's just pink and it has cute little frilly ruffles at the bottom I have never actually worn this item my mom also got this for me for my birthday last year and it's a size 6 and it just it never fit it was too small when I got it even though I weighed less than so it's just kind of confusing um, I've thought about selling that skirt on Poshmark and getting some money back and then buying a size up, but I don't want to do that because the, like, this was, like, too tight and if I lose, like, five pounds, like, at the time, if I had lost five pounds, this would have fit, but then this dress that my mom got also is a size six and it fits big. So if I had lost the weight, this wouldn't fit and I was more concerned about this fitting, but also since these were after party sale items, they are no longer available. You can't buy them anymore, which is one of the things that I like kind of don't like about Lily. Like everything is technically limited edition at one point or another because you can't get like your springtime prints are what's going to be in the after party sale in the fall. And then after the after party sale, they're not available anymore unless Lily decides to do a recut, which is kind of annoying, but that's why you get like the more classic prints every once in a while is because they did a recut. And so my last thing that I have is this first impressions skirt. This is in the yellow. I don't remember exactly like what color they call this. I just know it's the first impressions print, but this is the Colette skirt and this is also a size six. And this one still fits me like pretty well for the most part. Um, I haven't worn it in a bit, but I just absolutely love this skirt so much. I wore this to like my Leeds graduation ceremony thing, which was for like um, every at my college, everybody that was a freshman had to be in this group called Leeds. And essentially what we did, we went and did like community service. We did like volunteer work at the animal shelter and that sort of thing and then we had to put together like a career portfolio and it's mainly for kids that don't know what they're doing for college but like I got put into that group because of my I looked good as does that make sense like my grades were good I had taken dual credit in high school at the college that I was going to and all that sort of stuff so I just looked good if somebody from like you know higher up and the government was looking at it and deciding if they should keep the program or not they would see me and be like oh okay she's doing health care that's cool look at her grades they look nice like that's what they would have done but yeah i wore this to our graduation ceremony and i actually probably would have worn this to my college graduation but i decided to not walk so there's that hope you guys enjoyed watching and i hope you guys are having a great day so far don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you here on thursday Bye.